I uh, want to call on, as Eric mentioned, uh, his worship mayor, Charlie Clark, to bring greetings on behalf of the city of Saskatoon. Mr. Mayor? Uh, I'm very pleased to uh, be here with everybody uh, at uh, the great Holy Family Cathedral uh, on Treaty 6 territory and the homeland of the Métis people. And uh, I'd like to also recognize our colleagues from uh, the provincial government, uh, Corey Tucker and Erica Lawson and Ryan Miley, as well as Bishop Hegemon, who uh, carries a big load as the bishop of, of, uh, of this area for the Catholic community and, and all the clergy that are here as well. And, uh, and also Randy Ambrosi, the CFL commissioner. It's great to have you here. And Henry Burris uh, joining us. And I understand you've had a great day today. I'm going to put one last plug in for Great Cup 2020 to come back to Saskatoon, to Regina, because I know that uh, we're ready to host at Mosaic Place. And we, we work together with Regina on that issue. You know, not on every issue, but, uh, but on bringing the Great Cup back. Absolutely, we're happy to, happy to do that. I, uh, the Knights of Columbus have done incredible work to raise a quarter of a million dollars already for the Saskatoon Jimmy Patterson, I shouldn't say Saskatoon, that's not right, the Jimmy Patterson Children's Hospital of Saskatchewan, because that is a provincial initiative for sure. And, uh, and yes, to the Knights of Columbus uh, for hosting this event. It takes a lot of work to bring an event like this together. There's no question in terms of, of all of the incredible silent auction items that are there and the sponsors and, and, uh, and to get uh, the support from Les and Irene Dubay is absolutely remarkable. We are on the home stretch for this hospital opening up. Uh, next year we hope to see the doors open and to have all of the opportunity that this hospital will provide. And I want to thank the Kai family for uh, joining us from Calgary to help, help share your story of what this means uh, to have a facility like this in your community, in your province. And I know from my own experience, because my son Benjamin, who's now 10, when he was a year and a half old, had a spinal cord surgery for, uh, to deal with a tethered spinal cord. And he was in the hospital 10 days. He was uh, kept unconscious for seven of those days. And uh, when you see uh, your own child in that kind of vulnerable state, totally reliant on the staff and the support and the equipment that is required uh, to, to help make a, a very sensitive surgery uh, go successfully, uh, it, it really hits home what this means. Uh, and, and I had a chance to meet with Dr. Gibalition, who is the, the lead uh, uh, medical uh, doctor in terms of pulling the team that he's pulling together from around the world to come here to our city, our province, to, to build this hospital and to, and to put the team together. And, and there's a really strong vision for how this is going to make sure that our young people can grow up strong and healthy uh, no matter what uh, conditions or, or, or situations they face. So um, thank you for being a part of this and thank you for helping us on the home stretch to, uh, to make sure we can get this hospital open. And so I wish everybody a great evening and, and, uh, and lots of support for the hospital. And uh, let's hope the riders uh, bring it home today too so we get the home playoff. So thanks very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor.